closures are soon coming to some beloved downtown Disney locations, and an attraction that hasn't been open in quite some time is going to show us some new things about Pixar Pier. This is D for E-Ticket News. Hey guys, what's up? Jordan here from DisneylandForever.com. Just got a few quick updates for you, so let's just get rolling here with C-Ticket News. Coming soon to Disney California Adventure Park, Doctor Strange, the master of magic himself, is going to be making an appearance available for meet and greets. Not a lot of details about him quite yet, but it is pretty cool that he is yet another Marvel character adding to the lineup at Hollywoodland and California Adventure. The Orange County Register had reported a couple weeks ago that there is an official closing date for several of the locations in downtown Disney. The Earl of Sandwich, the Starbucks West location, the AMC Theaters, the Rainforest Cafe, the ESPN Zone, and everything else pretty much west of the Lego store is slated to be closed no later than the end of June this year. Some of those places are going to be closing a little bit earlier, but they are told to be ready to clear out by the end of June. Now, the funny thing is we don't know when exactly construction is really going to begin in this area of the resort because the city of Anaheim has not yet signed off on any of the hotel plans, but that is why everything is closing is because that area is going to be taken up by a brand new hotel. Disneyland announced that coming soon to the Disneyland mobile app, they are going to be able to have the option of mobile food ordering. Now, for those of you who may not be familiar with it, this is actually something they've been doing in Walt Disney World for a few months now and has been very, very successful. What this is, is it allows you to order some food and pay for it on your phone at certain locations inside the parks. They don't prepare it yet. They prepare it later when you press the button that says prepare my meal on the app. And then when it's ready, you just go and pick it up at the return window. This allows you to spend less time waiting in lines. You could potentially order your food while you're waiting in a different line elsewhere. And it just is super convenient. We've actually really enjoyed it when we've been in Florida using it. So it's kind of cool that it's going to be coming soon to the Disneyland mobile app. You can expect to find it at several of the quick service dining locations, specifically the counter service locations. But we'll get you more details as we find out more. You may or may not have noticed, but there's a building in Wine Country Trattoria, just part of Pacific Wharf, that's labeled Blue Sky Cellar, and it's rarely ever open. The whole point of it is it's an Imagineering preview center for things that they're doing to the Disneyland Resort, and it has not been open for a couple of years. I don't really know why, but they have finally opened it up to show you guys some things that are going to be coming to Pixar Pier. So you can go take a look around. They have a model of the whole land, what it's going to look like when it's done, as well as concept art of what they're working on, and just more information about what you can expect when the whole land is completed, which is really kind of cool. And along with that is a detail that there's going to be two new merchandise locations as part of Pixar Pier, and one of them, as we kind of had expected, is going to be called Bing Bong's Sweet Stuff. And so this is actually going to be what it sounds like. It's a confectionery. The whole idea is it's supposed to be, you know, bing bong cries candy. Well, now you're going to be able to eat some of his tears because they're delicious. So that's actually kind of something that we've been really looking forward to. A lot of people have been excited about that because there's not really a confectionery in California Adventure. So now there will be in Pixar Pier. I don't have to really do an update on this, but you know that now through September 3rd, they have Pixar Fest going on at the Disneyland Resort. So if you are going this summer, that's something really, really cool to look forward to. They have a whole bunch of big things coming up and returning favorites like Paint the Night is finally back, which is a huge deal, as well as a new fireworks show. And it's all gonna be super, super fun. That's all the updates that we really have for this week, but they're just some small things that I think you really need to be aware of because they make a big difference. So uh, make sure that you leave any comments that you have in the comment section below. You can check out the links that we have to some more information on some of these things in the description as well. And also make sure that you follow us on Facebook particularly because there are some deals that are gonna be coming up to help save you money from our partners. So make sure you keep an eye out for that. Otherwise, you can keep checking out our website, DisneyLandForever.com, where there are some updates to keep an eye on. And we will see you guys next week. All right. Thank you guys so much. You're awesome. Bye.